Have you ever heard of parallel societies and parallel institutions? Well, of course, that's the question Tech Jelly Mobile asks me. So do you know what parallel lines are? Parallel lines are lines which never intersect. They never conflict, they never cut each other. That's exactly what it is with parallel societies. When a group of people in a society lose trust in the mainstream narrative, they form their own systems, their own beliefs, and their own practices, and thereby form a parallel society. They don't seek to conflict with the mainstream. They just want to do their own thing. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? So if you want a full video on that, let me know. Who TF is Daniel asks about pesticides and foods. Well, the first thing you got to know is blueberries. So blueberries are highly nutritious for you, but they're coated in pesticides and fungicides. And that's true for all berries and all fruits. You definitely need to wash your fruits and vegetables before you consume them. How do you wash them? Vinegar plus baking soda seems to do the trick. Soak for a couple of minutes and then you just scrub them with your own hands and then you're ready to go. Gokul Vijay asks, are there any alternatives to Tello Balm? Well, certainly there are. So Tello Balm is the best thing for your skin, 100%. And the brand that I trust and use is Vintage Tradition because I literally know the guy who produces this stuff. I'll put a discount code in the description if you want to use it. But as for alternatives, what you're looking for is a non-petroleum-based product. And the good thing is more and more such products are coming out onto the market every single day. Mark my words, so this movement of esoteric health is far broader than this channel. It's happening at a societal level. Many businesses are propping up non-toxic alternatives to traditional products. If you're an entrepreneur or a businessman, or if you want to get into that, I t I'm telling you, non-toxic items, I would strongly recommend creating a product in that area and then promoting it. That's the field which is going to grow in the next 10 to 15 years. Lac Plesis asks, are we supposed to be hanging on vines and branches because we evolved to do so? Well, not exactly. We evolved from great apes and those also walked on two legs. So you don't need to hang from branches because that's what we evolved to do. But you should hang on your pull-up bar or a branch or whatever it is a few times or at least one time per day because of the spinal decompression benefits. Best time to do it is actually before you sleep. The brain detoxes itself only at night and it can only do so when it purges its toxins into the spinal fluid. So it's very important to decompress your spine or at least alleviate pressure on the spine so that your brain can actually detox. Sam Gaming asks, I have yellow teeth, how do I make them white? Well, you need to use a tooth powder. The one I've been using is one by a company called Van Man. And they've come up with this hydroxyapatite tooth powder, which is really quite good. And they also have deodorant. So a lot of people ask me, what kind of deodorant should you use? Most deodorants are toxic, but Van Man has come up with this deodorant. I believe it's a magnesium based product. It's pretty good actually. I've used it myself and I can watch for it. Username bot asks, recommended books. Well, interestingly enough, fiction is actually really quite useful. So a lot of people in the self-improvement type community, we just talk about self-improvement books. That's a mistake. There's spectacular learnings to be learned from fiction. For example, how do you learn to get good at making friends and influencing people. Most people would say, read that book by the same exact name, right? And other people would say, read 48 Laws of Power because that gives you the real depth into human nature. I think both of those are wrong. Better to read actually the Game of Thrones series. Game of Thrones shows you the dark side of human nature and manipulation, but also shows you that true friendship and kindness do actually pay if you're smart enough to use those properly. If you're going to be a dumbass like Ned Stark, then you're going to get what's coming to you. I'm going to have a full-fledged book club in my country club, so if you're interested in that. EJ Craft Kid asks, are there any alternatives to cologne? Well, cologne is highly, highly estrogenic. So there's a whole bunch of aromatic molecules in all colognes which mess you up. For example, Dior Sauvage, which is a very common, very popular cologne. It smells pretty good to be honest, but it contains, literally contains red forts. Listed in the ingredients, it contains red forts. So mainstream designer fragrances are a complete no-go. However, there are natural fragrances coming out. So I saw this one on my Instagram recently called Sol Scents. And it's actually pretty good. I bought it, it was reasonably priced and it smells pretty good no natural fragrance is going to last as long as your designer fragrances and that's completely to be expected so know that going in not exactly a question but i want to shout out no goats no glory because he wrote a whole ass essay on the roman education system and how it prepped young roman young noble romans to be psyop free to be anti-psyop they were genuinely taught how to think and not what to think like how we are in our school systems and even college to be honest Did you know that young roman nobles they would their fathers would send them abroad on actual missions even as young as like 14 15 16 17 they might like have a bodyguard and everything with them but the fact is they would entrust genuine valuable missions to young romans so that even at a young age they had that sense of responsibility a sense of duty and a sense that they genuinely matter can you imagine how valuable that is for a young man when your father literally entrusts you with a mission off state to go and perform we have no equivalent of that in the modern world guys are like 21 22 23 and they're still basically children but coming back to no goats no glory so the fact is i've never seen other channels commenters writing a whole essay and he's not the only one 
many places I've seen people writing whole essays and dissertations on my videos and posts. Huge respect to those guys. Another example, Cornell gave me a whole research essay on the education system in the comments. So I made a community post talking about, well, you know, the education board was sponsored by the Rockefellers and they designed it in such a way that it mimics the Prussian school system, which is literally designed to dumb people down and make them workers, not thinkers. And Cornell went and fact-checked me, found the relevant facts, cited them, and actually wrote a whole essay in my post. My respect and gratitude. I think the viewer base watching this is genuinely different from other places on YouTube. And I'll do my best to return that trust. Domino Cadiz asks, what jobs have I worked and what's a good nine to five for a young man? The best job I ever worked was actually as a cashier in my university school um, cafeteria. The reason is they were very chill. I didn't have to wear, like, wear a uniform or anything. So I would wear literally a polo like this one and I would be the door checker. So I'd be the cashier in the front of the cafeteria. And what I'd do, as I used to have this speaker built into my collar, like under my collar, and um, I'd have a picture pop up. And I used to listen to audiobooks incognito. So the speaker would be kind of invisible because it'd be under my collar. And I'd listen to audiobooks as I do my shift and earn money. And so I remember a summer was, was two months. I finished something like 50 books in two months. Now be careful, like I'm not saying you should read 50 books because what happens often is people read books and don't take any action. But that was not the kind of books I was reading anyway. I was reading history and philosophy. So it wasn't exactly actionable books. So it just gave me a lot of wisdom and knowledge which I could use at a later date. Mythbot asks, can semen retention boost testosterone? Well, not directly. So the direct effect is actually on the dopamine circuitry. And I have a full guide coming out on addiction. So any kind of addiction, you can delete when you watch that video. Samsara Indo asks about hair. How do you have good hair? And uh, why do homeless people have such good hair? I don't know if homeless people actually have such good hair. And he talks about how shampoo is bad. Well, shampoo is certainly bad. Most shampoo is trash. I've actually experimented with using tallow soap as a shampoo. So tallow soap is what it sounds like, right? It's, it's soap its main ingredient is tallow and I get it from vintage tradition like all my tallow products and have this one tallow soap which is mostly olive oil based and that happens to be very good for hair so I just use that for hair if you want to know. Atomic Daw asks me to make an esoteric clothing guide. Well, it's pretty simple. Don't use synthetics, use natural fabrics. And if you can help it, don't wear underwear. Done. Video is done. I will eat 100 apples asks what are your thoughts on vaccines? Frank Vienna says, how can I find a community of like-minded individuals like an esoteric network? Well, funny you should say that. He actually says it's a business idea. Well, it is certainly a business idea. The Country Club will hopefully be available in the next two weeks. Maybe at the time of watching, you already have Country Club available, in which case that's your esoteric community right there. Well, I will literally teach you everything I know. And this is a question I get all the time in my DMs is supplements. What kind of supplements are good? Well, I'll tell you right now, most supplements are kind of trash. Most of the drugstore supplements are trash, especially even, even fish oil. A lot of fish oil is kind of trash. And the reason for this is fish oils are omega-3s, right? That's what you're looking for in fish oils mostly. Those are highly unstable. So if you heat them too much, they denature. So companies which don't know how to store them properly are giving you denatured oils. So are there some good alternatives? Certainly there are. The most expensive alternative is uh, a company called Rosita. They make good stuff, but it is expensive. Another company is Nordic Naturals. They make fish oil. I don't think they make cod liver oil, which I prefer cod liver oil because it has more vitamin D. So what do I use personally? I use a product by Green Pastures. So Green Pastures makes this very interesting product. They have a blend of butter oil and cod liver oil. They blend the two. Very unique product, definitely esoteric approved. And actually reached out to them and got a discount code. So if you want to use that, you could. And last question by RC Slim. So I was just at the dentist and for the first time in my life, they did the teeth cleaning and it didn't hurt like a bitch. The hydroxy appetite actually works. But more importantly, I'm going on a voyage to the old world on the 12th of this month. So I'm going to go to Venice, Florence, and all the Italian states. I'm going to Portugal, Spain, France, Italy and then going to the south of Italy. So I'm following the path of uh, Hannibal Barca, one of the famous generals of history. And every step of the way, I'm going to be sharing forbidden wisdom and showing you these amazing cities on my Instagram. Links in the description.